Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com, and today we're going to be using a Fujitsu ScanSnap scanner with an old school highlighter, yes, an actual physical highlighter and a physical piece of paper to extract keywords out of a piece of paper. Now to do this, you need a ScanSnap that comes after, say, 2009, so the S1500, S1500M, S1300 or S1100, they should all be able to do that. In this example, I'm going to be using an S1300, but it should work with any other modern scan snap. So what's a keyword? So a keyword is a bit different than you might have heard me go on about searchable PDFs. So if you make your PDF searchable, all the text on that document should be searchable by, you know, Mac Spotlight, Windows 7, or any other way to search text in a PDF. Keywords are a little different. Keywords lets you isolate certain spots on a page that you want to be a bit special and you can use those either for searching purposes or on the Mac for example if you have something like Hazel you could use those keywords to you know do something with it like rename the file or move it or something like that. So it's a pretty cool way to do things and I'm going to do that using uh, just a piece of paper and a blue highlighter. So first we want to be in ScanSnap Manager so if you're not sure how to get there I'm just going to hit don't apply here. Go to your dock, right click on the ScanSnap icon and go settings. So what you want to do is choose this file option tab here and then you want to look down here in this select OCR section Ignore convert to searchable PDF for now. Usually we would use that, but for this example, we're not going to. And what we want to do is we want to select this set the marked text as a keyword per the PDF file. So I'm going to select that. You have, and it just gives you a warning, confirm the keyword for the PDF after scanning, which we will do. And you have two choices. You have you can either do the first mark section or all mark sections. So in our example, I'm just going to do the first mark section for now. So we've got our, our profile set the way we want. So I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to close this down. And now we're ready to highlight the information. Okay, so I have this piece of paper here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a blue highlighter and I'm going to highlight the phrase marker editor and just for fun, the phrase QuickTime. And let's see how that goes. The color that Fujitsu recommends are either pink, blue, yellow, or green. But because I have an S1100, they recommend using blue or green. I don't know why pink or yellow is not recommended, but usually most types of highlighters will work. Okay. Okay, so I've got my paper in the scanner and I've just hit the scan button and we'll see what happens. So it's running through and you can see it briefly said searching for mark sessions and what it should have done is kicked out a PDF to this scan folder. So let's look for it. So here's the PDF first of all and you can see it looks like any other scan PDF but you can also see that I've got use my highlighter as you saw before it recognizes that these sections are blue but that's normal any scanner should be able to do that what we want to do and this is on the Mac on the Windows it's a bit different you can use Acrobat uh, Adobe Acrobat to view your keywords or there's some other applications as well I'll, I'll point to in this video on the Mac what we want to do is we want to go up to tools show inspector or just hit command I and you can see a bunch of tabs here along the top and we want the one that looks like a little magnifying glass here and it worked you can see here that we've highlighted marker editor down here and because we said we only wanted it to recognize the first mark text it's put marker editor up up here in the keywords Now, just for fun, just to show you what we can do with this, as an example, if I go up here to Spotlight on the Mac and I type keyword colon 
marker editor, you can see that the first document that it finds is this document that we just scanned. So the Mac is able to index and search just based on the, that keyword field and nothing else. So you can see it's another way to search. Now just as a quick test, let's see what would happen if I'm going to delete this. Let's go back to our ScanSnap settings and let's change it so that it's searching all mark session, sections, not just the first one. And let's rescan it. All right, and it's scanning away. And hopefully what we should see is both mark sections now. So if we open this up again and we open up the inspector, I'll do Command I this time. Yep, you can see it worked. We've got both marker editor and QuickTime there. So we can use either of those now. So that's a quick introduction on how to use a highlighter and keywords in ScanSnap Manager. There's a lot more information on this on my website, documentsnap.com. Head on over there for more paperless tips. And thanks a lot.